Welcome, 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 Ranger Nation, to a Raw Review Update. You've seen my little preview of the Titanium Morphers Inside Workings, and I have actually got some good news today, because I actually was able to get the wiring hooked up. Now, I still haven't been able to solder it. My solder pen seems to be defective, so unfortunately I'm going to have to put up aside some money and get myself a new soldering pen because that thing just doesn't work. However, I was able to jerry-rig something for testing and so I know this works now because it, you can see right there I tilt the camera so you can see how the light is on now Watch what happens when I touch ground here. And tap pin zero. That's the communicator. And then you have to tap it again to turn it off. That's the way I set it up. Then we have this one. Pass some more. And yep, it's going through both speakers. And actually will have to go to completion. I can't actually interrupt it. I might change that later on. It's a matter of renaming the file. But that's a summoning noise. And now, titanium power! Set it with that button. Now there's also something I want to test out here while I have you here. But there's actually a volume up and a volume down control. I think I have to go to ground on this side. There you go, volume down. Maximum volume, looks like. Yeah, it doesn't go any louder than that. That's still pretty loud. is an actual speaker. Now, I also do have this pack here. But, I'm guessing I have to charge it. Which would be putting a pin from VIN ground from VIN to, this is tricky because I can't solder anything. See how annoying this is because I can't solder anything? But 
but theoretically, I would need to plug this into a socket in the wall to power it. But the problem is, as I have been mentioning, I can't get my solder gun to work, so I'm kind of just jerry-rigging it. But there you go. See, now it's connected to power through here. And in theory, if I were to unplug this, well, you can see there's, it doesn't work because there's no power going in the pack. But I could charge it like this. You see, it's now charging it. Now there's a little yellow light, there's a little orange light right here for charge. It's getting charged up. But there you go, folks. This is my titanium morpher. And as you can see, it's working. My only problem is I can't, my solder gun does, that just doesn't work. So... Either I'm going to have to get a new solder gun, and God knows how expensive that's going to be, or I'm going to have to find some way of solderless process, like maybe getting something like this and some type of securing bolt for the undersot. It's something similar to this, and get a securing bolt for the bottom so they're not just sliding out. But, there we go. I hope you all enjoyed this, and one more time before we head out, pin to ground, and eh, let's summon the Megazord, shall we? That's three, not two. Set it, and let's morph.